Good evening everybody and uh, welcome to South Gatwisha Ghost Hunters uh, uh, this evening at the PN, PO, uh, POW uh, War Camp in Sheffield this is a war camp uh, we've been here about uh, an hour just setting up and uh, just taking a walk here uh, into the woods and uh, very very muddy and boggy here tonight uh, as you can see, lots of uh, leaves here that uh, have rotted over the years and uh, makes it very boggy. So uh, we're just down there having a fire. Uh, some of the group uh, members here. And uh, we're just, I'm just taking a quick walk down here. And uh, having a look, not being here for uh, a good while. About a year, well, not a year, about uh, six, seven months since I was last year that we thought we'd come here tonight. Because, due because of the weather, we've got to find wooded areas where we can have a fire. Anyway, during World War II, uh, this was a prison of war camp, and uh, you can see here the edging uh, just here. Just there. Well, these were uh, these are big square blocks, and uh, was uh, uh, prison huts where you used to keep the uh, prisoners. I think it was mainly Italians that they kept here in Sheffield uh, during uh, during World War Two. Anyway, uh, there was uh, quite a lot of uh, huts in here. Uh, during uh, during that uh, during the period of World War Two, and uh, a bit of an old building here as well. If I can get through without falling, because most of the time when I'm filming, I seem to have an accident of uh, falling down. So hopefully, I'm not going to do that. I wish I did. <coughs> Straight into a hole. <coughs> I can't believe I fell straight down in the hole. <coughs> I can't get my cup. <sighs> oh dear. Right, <coughs> I've got to pull myself up here. Uh, it's a bit of a deep hole that I've just gone down. Oh, I'm going to for you. And uh, that's the hole I've just fell down. Just there. You can't probably see it properly. Oh, I've got thorns in my hands. But uh, there it is. But I've just gone down. And uh, 
me talking about falling down a hole and it happens I thought it was an easy way like here <coughs> anyway. let me get my breath back part of uh, one of the buildings here that uh, was around during World War II not sure what it was this looks like a oh, I've got a simple look like part of a chimney then but I don't think it was <coughs> so uh, yeah, it's okay I'm just trying to get my uh, my breath back bit of a path here that we can uh, just go down hopefully uh, there's not uh, any uh, potholes here that I'm going to uh, end up going down bit of a, a mound there So anyway, uh, I'm going to take a walk back to the others in the moment and uh, see what the others are doing. Very cold out here tonight. Apart from in, in the woods, it's not uh, it's not really cold. Uh, but when you walk out into uh, there's a bit of a car park to the side. It's bitterly cold out there. But uh, well, cold. I don't really feel the cold. Uh, but it did. Uh, it was fresh when we came in. It's warmed up a little bit actually. Uh, it was uh, the sky was uh, there was no cloud in the sky, but uh, over the last hour we've seemed to have got more cloud. Now you can see here. Ah, this is where we was last time. Yeah. Uh, So if you, if you look here, you can see uh, one of the uh, foundations for the uh, for the building here, which was uh, quite long. So it would uh, go from up there, be collecting wood here, <coughs> and uh, go all the way down here and, and right back up there. So I don't know how many prisoners they uh, could have kept in here at, at one go. There's quite a few of these uh, in, in the woods here. So uh, it's quite interesting. So we'll have to come and get some of this wood here uh, in a bit. Because there's uh, quite a bit of it that we could uh, use for, for doing this fire. Uh, we've got a nice fire burning off down there <coughs> anyway as per usual you got me Martin I forgot to introduce myself when I uh, came on to uh, on the video but uh, we've also got Tony out with us tonight uh, we've also got uh, Lucy David and uh, Jackie so uh, this is where we are 
Anyway, there's plenty of wood up here. I can't, I'm filming. So, uh, James coming up now, I think, to have a look at the, uh, at the wood. Thought he was. Uh, anyway, uh, been before here in the past uh, three or four times uh, to the P.O. I want to say P.O. like P.O. ferries P.O.W. camp and uh, had some good evidence uh, in the past especially uh, uh, a walk that we did last year we walked to the other end of the woods and uh, while we was walking uh, we was making contact with his spirit. I think it was a soldier that we uh, that we made contact with. I think there's also been Germans in here as well, as well as uh, Italians. What are you looking for, Dave? Yeah, there's tons of it here. Hey, too far. I'll get you a bloody bus pass if you want. Too far. If you, if you look, look, if you look at this here, Dave, you'll be, you'll be in your... You'll be in your high horse, is what they say. Is it what they say? Can't remember. Can't remember the, the phrase that they use. There's the, he's made it. He didn't need a bus pass. So what happens when you reach 62? You can't do things. You see, oh yeah. Yeah. Tony's cold, it's freezing. Tony's cold? Freezing. He's freezing, he needs to get some shreddies or uh, some porridge down him. Yeah. I'm never cold when I go out. Never get cold. Plenty of food down here. That's what you need. Plenty of food. Keep your energy going. Anyway, I'm going to leave you for now. I bet you haven't even started doing a wedge board yet, have they? Let's see. <laughs> anyway, yeah, trying a new device out tonight. And that's the device what's going off right now. It's uh, a security light. That's as a uh, fire for this evening. Anyway, it's a security like I bought off eBay. Only uh, eight pound, and uh, that's that was going up right now. So, uh, just a, a, a wireless uh, intruder alarm type thing. The alarm things, the alarm's there. Oops, it was there until so I just uh, knocked it off. <coughs> Alright, it's here. It's a one by one uh, device that uh, going to be trying out and uh, let's see if we uh, can pick up anything that uh, might uh, go in front of it. So uh, I put that there and then the, uh, the other device here is what we're using which is the uh, the sensor so uh, got a few rim pods down and uh, uh, flashy ball lights as well is anybody here wishing to communicate with us 
Would you like to come forward? Would you like to show us a sign that you're here? Can you come and touch one of these devices on the ground? Or can you touch that device on the tree stump that I just placed? Do we have any soldiers here who would like to speak to us? Do we have any uh, Germans or Italians that can understand English? And uh, do we have any English soldiers here? Any guards that uh, guard the, uh, the prison camp who would like to come forward and speak to us? Come on please, show us a sign. We mean you no know, harm, we come as friends. We are British. If there is British soldiers here. We're from the year uh, 2020. Uh, so it's good a uh, few years uh, since uh, uh, World War II. Uh, World War II ended. My name's Martin. I was born after the war. I was born in uh, 1968. So uh, I'm 51 years uh, of age. Would you like to come forward and speak to me? Would you like to show us a sign that you're here and you want to come and speak to us? Could you tell us, did you uh, die here at this campsite? You, you're freezing, Tony. Anyway, we've got Tony. With us, David, Evening, ladies Jackie, Hiya. Lucy. Are you cold? Me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, bloody hell, I'm rust. I'm rusted up as per usual. Anyway, uh, come on, please. Do we have anybody here wishing to come and speak to us? We mean you no harm. We come as friends. My name's Martin, as I said. Nobody be that Ouija board. Right, you need you need square thing, don't you? The square thing's in one of those small boxes. The planchette. Right, one I think. Stand that table up down. Come on, please. Come forward. Show us a sign that you're here. You want to speak to us? Uh, my name's Martin. I come as a friend. I come here to communicate with you. I come here to prove that uh, life still goes on after death. Can you come and speak to me? Can you uh, let me know that you're okay? Oh, it's a bit quiet tonight. Not right there, no. Anyway, I'm going to go for a couple of minutes, have a, a quick break, and uh, we'll be back uh, very, uh, very shortly uh, with uh, a second part of uh, of the video. Probably we'll have a walk down through the woods with uh, Lucy and uh, Jackie. I've been through here before, uh, but. Uh, uh, well, uh, oh, they've gone, so I'll catch them up anyway. I'll walk down and uh, 
catch him up. Anyway, give me five minutes and uh, I'll be back with you shortly. Bye bye for now. Anyway, I'm back. Gonna uh, just catch up with uh, Jackie and uh, Lucy here. Have you caught a tote? Do you just want to try a couple of balls? I've got, I've got one over there, yeah. I've got a ball. I've got this. Do you want to try some more? Put one on there or something. Put one on. We'll put one at the corner here. Yeah. Yeah. That one's good. Yeah. Uh, this one's that light's going off, it's just been going off here. Have you? That light's going off. Can you show the sign that you hear by flashing that ball for us again, please? Can you go up and touch it? Mean you no harm. Come as friends. Come touch these balls. Oh, can you touch that blue light, what's on the ground, it's called a REM pod that'll make a buzzy noise if you touch it Could you touch that one? I have been here before and, and spoke to you and we've used these devices before here uh, when you touch them it just lets us know that you're here so come forward please come and say hello to us do we have any English soldiers here who would come and touch these balls for us on these lights? Let us know that you're here, you want to speak to us. <coughs> but that wind's getting up. Uh, it's quite windy uh, at the top of the trees. Come on please, come forward. Let us know that you're here and you want to speak to us. You touch one of these devices. <coughs> Let us know that you hear one of these balls on the ground. My name's Martin. We've also got Diane and Lucy uh, running around the woods as well. Would you like to come forward and uh, communicate with us? We mean you no harm, like I said. I had family that uh, was in the war as well, my granddad.
he was a soldier during World War II. Both my granddads was. One of them was a prisoner of war in Germany. My grand, one of my, on my, uh, 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 one of my granddads, he was a prisoner of war in Germany. Do we have any Italian soldiers here or Germans that can speak English? Can you speak English for us? If you understand my my voice, can you uh, touch one of the balls that we put placed down on the ground? Or the blue light with the antenna sticking out of it, can you touch that? That won't uh, make it, that won't hurt you in any way. Just let us know that you're here. Come on please, come and touch him. We mean you no harm. Like I said, we're here as friends. The wind is getting up. Okay, camera's going funny now. Why is that going funny? Come on, please, come forward. Come and speak to us. Come and, come and communicate. Did you die at this campsite? Did you get sick and, and die here during World War II? You probably would have been better looked after here uh, than uh, what uh, uh, the British was probably treated in Germany. Did you, did you want to fight? Did you want to uh, join the uh, the army and fight? Especially if you're German. Was you? Uh, did you want to go and fight during the war? Did you did you sign up? Did you go of your own free will and, uh, and and go fight? Or was you called up? Did you have to do what we call national service? I'm going to take this over here, Martin. Keep hearing something. Yeah. Yeah. So was you called up? Was you uh, f uh, forced to uh, come go to war during World War Two? Was you captured by the English or the Americans? Brought to England. Or are you an English soldier? Was you a guard here? Was any, when it, was any of the prisoners uh, violent? Okay, not uh, getting much communication here from you. Be nice if you did. Be lovely if you would come and speak to us. If you could flash those balls or touch that antenna. Would uh, would make me happy anyway. Of you communicating with me, be really happy if you could do that.
Okay, well, I'm going to leave you for now. And uh, I'll be back uh, a bit later on, if you're not going to come and speak to us. Come on, please, show us a sign before I go. Alright, we'll speak to you shortly. Hopefully we will anyway. Bye-bye for now. Okay, me and Tony and uh, David were doing a tippy table session. Well, can you have that little uh, ball up for me again, please? We're just asking uh, an, an Italian soldier who we've been talking to to uh, light up. Uh, they was moving the table first. Can you light the ball up for me, please? And then uh, we put a well, rem pod down. And uh, asked him if we could light uh, the lights up on the ground, which he, they did do. Twice. You're still, you're still with me. Like it up if you're still with me. Come on, if you're still here, can you light that ball up on the ground for us again? That ball won't hurt you in any way. Not to work you. Not even us. You want that light turning away from you? Turn the light away from him. We can't. Right. So I'm filming. Yeah. No white light on. You yeah, know, I need the white light on to see. One, two, that little ball for me, mate. <laughs> Come on, my buddy. Like you cool. Come on, you were just lighting that up. Now I've put this light on. This light's not going to hurt you. Uh, do you know what a camera is? You should know what a camera is. Taking pictures, that's what I'm using right now. I need the light to, uh, to light to while I'm filming. So can you, uh, as you can see, I'm holding the light in my hand. It won't hurt in any way. Come on, buddy, light it up for me. Oh, put the clear the other side of it for me. I like that one up. It'll not hurt you, no, it'll hurt you. Guaranteed. Come on, light up for me, please. Come on, can you light those lights up? Come on, light them up for me. I'll make the sensor go up on the tree there. You make the light go out on the tree. Play with that ball again. The ball always flashing all different colours. Can you touch that again? You can't do it, can one of your mates do it for us? There's more than one of you here. Come Are you still here? Can you move the table towards me? Are you still here? Okay, thank you. Thank you. So did you touch that light on the ground? Yep. Thank you. Would you do it again for us, please? Yeah. Okay, can you go do it now, Rame? Come and light those, come and light that ball up again. Well, I like it all up. Okay. 
watching that we want to call from that too. And I'm like, hey, really? What? It's really? Yeah, it's alright. You know what's the camera? Come on, can you light it up for us? Come on, light it up for me, buddy. You mate. So since you've died, have you been back to Italy? Right, yeah. Yeah. I've been pretty nice for the on there. Come on, buddy, like that ball up for me, please. I'll keep that little aerial. Will not hurt you. Got a little monitor, will not hurt you. Monitor? Bring it in, you know. Come on, if you touch it, we'll light up all pretty lights. You'll think you're in disco, night club. Come on, light those lights up. Give some squeaks in oh. over there, aren't we? Give yeah. some squeaks in that, but it could be wind. Come on. Come on. Right, them lights up for me. Please. If you want us to go away, light those lights up. Well, I'll light him up and we'll leave it alone. Try your hands on the table again. No. Do you want to put your hands back on the table again? Come on, please, come forward. My name's Martin. I'm Dave. And I'm Tony. We're here as friends, we're not here to warm you. Did you know but the war the the war ended? You would know. The Second World War ended in nineteen forty two. No sorry, nineteen forty five. Did you know that the world the, the war Second World War ended in uh, 1945? <coughs> Come on, just one more time, light that ball up for us. Come on, then we'll leave it alone. Please. Please, please. Is any other spirit around me will light that ball up for me? Oh, too sadly clear. <coughs> All them little lights up. Well, no, yeah, yeah. We come in peace. Well, he's gone again, isn't it? <laughs> we don't get any much activity here. It's been very quiet tonight. Come on, see if you can light that ball up for me. 